arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Also, we will learn arithmetic operations as rising a number to a power and finding the, the root of the number. Let's get started. Um, arithmetic operations, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are main operations in arithmetic. And um, these operations, let's denote our operation as a star. So this operation can be any of these four arithmetic operation. In this case, assume we have two numbers, A and B, where A and B is are an element of real line, or A and B are real numbers. Once again, this symbol in mathematics stands for element of. So assume A and B are real numbers. And when we perform arithmetic operation with these two numbers, in this case, the result will be also some number C, also real number. And the uh, only exception is division by zero, because in mathematics, if we divide the number by zero, this operation is meaningless. Uh, assume we have a number A, which is not zero, and A is an element of, it. this is real, any number which is not zero, and we write a over zero, and this operation is meaningless because if we assume this is equal to b, then we have, if we multiply the both sides of this to zero, we have a equal to b multiplied to zero. But we have left part not equal to zero, but the right part is zero because b is multiplied to zero and the result will be zero. Uh, so that's why this is the meaningless, and division by zero is also a meaningless operation. Let's talk about, first talk about addition and subtraction. These two operations, addition and subtraction, are opposite operation, and we will talk about this later. Let's first, about, let's first talk about definition. Actually, addition and subtraction have no definition. And we can describe addition as the process of combining two, num two numbers, say 9 plus 2 equal to 11. And these two elements, 9 and 2, two numbers, called addends. And 11 is called sum. Another example is 7.5 plus 3 equal to equals to 10, 10 and 10.5. And this operation can be described using the real line. Assume we have a real line. We discussed real line in the previous session. Assume we have a point 7 and 5. Then if we add number 3 to this point, then we have to move to the right side of the real line by the amount of 3. And result will be 10.5. So um, plus is moving to the right side of the, of the real line. Uh, when we perform subtraction and we write 7 and 5 minus 3, in this case, uh, this, is, this can be described as moving to the left side of the real line. minus 3, and it will be obviously 4 and 5, 4.5. So this is a description of this operation, and we cannot define this operation. Uh, it's very hard to define this. Uh, next example, assume uh, we have 2 minus 5. In this case, 
if we have a two, and here we have a zero, then minus five, it can be described as moving to the left side by the amount of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, five. And this will be minus three. So this is obvious operation. And as we already said, the result of this operation is also real number. Um, it's imp important to understand that addition, addition and subtraction are these two operations, um, opposite operations. What we mean by this? Assume we have two, then if we write plus three, we will have five. And uh, opposite operation to the plus is minus, and we can go back uh, writing minus three. So two plus three is five, and five minus three is again initial point, which is two. So plus and minus are opposite operation, and further we will talk about multiplication and division, and they are also opposite opposite operation operations to each other. Let's further describe multiplication and division. These two operations. Multiplication. First, let's talk about the multiplication. Multiplication is. I will give. Uh, definition which is quite easy to understand and to remember. This is like several, several addition, several additions. Uh, and multiplication is like if we add the number to itself several times. For example, if we write, if we write two times three, this means two, three times two, plus two, plus two. We have to add two to itself, and this is done three times. So two plus two plus two, three twos. We have two, 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 three times, and this will be six. This will be six. Along the same line, uh, if we write five times two, and this is five plus five. And this is done two times, which is equal to 10. Along the same line, four times five is equal to four plus four, plus four plus four, and plus four. And this is done five times, which is equal to 20. In this case, 4 is called multiplicand. Multiplicand. 5 is called multiplier. And 20 is called product. And product, as I said, is also an element of the real numbers, a set of real numbers. And next, uh, let's talk about division.